Hi everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Nitya and in this demo, I am going to explain you on how to apply the masking rules only for specific users in Oracle database using dynamic data masking tool. Here is a scenario. Assume that in my Oracle database I have three users, test underscore source, test underscore target and the system user. And I have an employee table that is present among all the three schemas and my intention is to mask the employee table only for the specific users test underscore source and test underscore target and not the system user using the dynamic data masking tool. What is a dynamic data masking tool? It's a data security tool that operates between an application and a database to prevent unauthorized access to sensitive information. It basically intercepts the request that is sent to the DB and applies data masking rule to the request to mask the data before it is sent back to the application. The main components of dynamic data masking is a DDM server, the management console which is a client tool and the dynamic data masking service, rule engine and the server control. Once you install the dynamic data masking server, you can use the server control to check the status of the dynamic data masking server. You can use the command server.bat status. So this will tell you dynamic data masking server with this name is running on so and so port and this is the port which is configured for the dynamic data masking server during the installation. And next thing is to connect to the management console. So that is a client application where we configure the database, where we configure the rules, where we configure the dynamic data masking service, etc. So you need to use a host name where your DDM server is installed and the port number on which the DDM server is running and the username and the password. Click on connect. So now we are connected to the dynamic data masking server using the client tool called management console. The first thing what we have to do here is to create a service for the Oracle database. So here we have an option like add DDM service. Click on that. So here we get a list DDM for Oracle DB2 SQL Server Informix and this is disabled for me because for this demo I have already created the service for Oracle. So for the first time you have to check this option and click on OK and you will see a service created DDM for Oracle. And you can either start or stop service using this command. So first time you create the service it will be automatically started. And click on edit you can see the ports. These are the ports on which the DDM service is listening similar to your Oracle listening ports. By default you will have 1525 port so you can add any number of ports to it or you can remove the ports. So right now I have two ports configured 1525 and 1526. So going forward all the users need to connect to the Oracle database using these port for the masking rules to be applied. So once this is done, click on OK. So once the service is created, next thing is to configure the database. Right click on the site, you get an add database option and here you will have a database type. So you need to choose Oracle. I have already configured the database and this is the name that is being identified by the DDM server. This can be anything and the instance name is SID. And listener address is a host name where your Oracle database is running. And this is the Oracle listener port. And you have to give the service name. And you have to make sure you use the DBA username and password here. So once you are done with this configuration, click on test connection to validate the connection. Click on OK. Click on OK. So we are done with the service creation. We configured the database. And the most important thing now is to configure the connection rules. So connection rules is nothing but the rules that tell you how to treat your incoming connections that comes via the DDM port. So you can use the insert rule option to create a rule. I have already created the rule. So here I'm telling to treat all my incoming connections and apply this rule set that is called rule set oracle. And here we have other options like nothing folder, switch to database, direct, refuse. So all these things are explained well in the admin guide. So now for all the incoming connections that comes to the DDM port, 
I will use the rule set Oracle. So that is going to basically apply the rules that is present under this rule set. So the connection rule is very important. So this has to be created. So once the connection rule is created, you have to add the rule set. So use this option add rule set and give the rule set name and you will have the rule set created. So you have to make sure the rule set name whatever you provided in the connection rule is same as the rule set whatever you created here. If this is not going to match so it will not find the matching rule set and no rules is going to be applied. So once the rule set is created click on the security rule set. So here is where you are going to configure the rules that that is going to match our scenario. So our scenario is to apply the masking for the employee table only for specific users. So I have created my first tool as rule check user. So that is going to basically check who is the current user that is being connected to the database using the DDM port. So to achieve this you have to use a symbol matcher as a matching method and you have to use a symbol name as auth underscore user username. So this is like a global variable. So similar to this you have other global variables like uh, auth underscore SID, auth underscore mission. So all these things are from the help guide so you can go through all these things. So right now we are using auth username to get the database username that is being currently connected to the Oracle database. And here we need to provide the values for the matching. So these should be the valid values say my requirement is to check for test underscore source and test underscore target only for these users masking has to be applied so this can be either comma separated values or you can use regular expressions so I have not provided the system user here because my masking should not be applied for the system user so once this matching method is like matched meaning that once the auth, auth underscore username is matched with this particular users then what is the corresponding action to be taken so this is going to be a folder rule so it's not going to do anything else other than the con other than continuing the rules down the tree so this is a folder rule and whenever this rule is matched then it has to continue we have a continue option so that continues down the tree so click on OK and now we have a rule mask which tells me to mask the employee table for the employee name column with this value so click on OK now we are done with the rule configuration so whenever any new rule is created or any rule is updated for the changes to be applied you need to make sure update rules is done so you have to click on this since I have already configured this is not enabled for me if you are editing or if you are adding any rule, new rule then you have to click on the update rules option so now we are done with the configuration now we have to verify uh, whether the table is getting masked so open a command prompt so here you can see the TNS ping for ORCL that is basically connecting to the database directly using the Oracle listener port so we need to make sure one more entry is created in the TNS names .ora for the DDM. So that will use the host name of the DDM server that is uh, where it is installed and the port number which is configured for the Oracle database. So here I have used 1525 and we can see the host names are same because both my Oracle database and the DDM server is installed on the same mission now we need to connect to SQL plus and I connect using user test underscore source now we run the query select star from employee and we can see the employee name column is masked now next thing is we need to connect to the test underscore target user and check if it is masked and we can see the employee name is again masked now we need to connect to the system user and check if the data is not masked and now we can see 
the data is not masked for the system user and the masking is done only for the specific users that is test underscore source and test underscore target so we achieve this by using two simple rules one is using the symbol mature and the other is a masking rule so that's the end of demo if you have any questions please feel free to write to us at support videos at informatica.com or https colon twitter.com info support thank you